Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel Annette. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, as you see by the title of the video, we will be reviewing the Naughty Nude Palette by Huda Beauty. This is an 18 pan eyeshadow palette that actually has five different textures. There's velvety soft, powerfully pigmented matte, five high shine buttery metallics, and three multi-reflective shimmer cream marbles. So if you're interested in seeing how I came up with this look, you're more than welcome to continue on watching. We're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. guys so we are ready to go ahead and dip into this review so every year in the fourth quarter Huda releases one of her major pans last year it was the mercury retrograde palette this year it's the naughty nude palette which was super cute I did a poll on Instagram and 100% of you guys said that you wanted a review and um, a look with this palette so I went ahead and I got it I did get it um, my rouge discount which is awesome so yeah guys uh, I just thought it was a really really sexy palette it says naughty some of the names for the shadow are <laughs> scantily clean Bad, if I do say so myself which I thought was cute whatever we are women and we embrace our sexuality so yeah you guys this is the Z and Dotsi palette and I don't even know what kind of look that I'm gonna go for today honestly I don't even know what I want to do right now I'm, I'm priming my eye with the makeup forever this is the matte velvet skin this is their new concealer that I've been absolutely loving and it's been working great as a base for my eyeshadow so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this onto my lid using the Morphe M173 brush all right y'all so we finally get to dig into this I've been staring at this palette for about two days sometimes there are some palettes that are just too pretty too sexy to touch so I've just been looking at her and oh y'all she's so Y'all, she's so pretty. Let's just go ahead and show her sexy glow one more time. Super cute. All right, so I'm going to be picking up my Morphe M433 brush. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't even want to really get into her, you know what I'm saying? So seeing that I don't really know what I want to do, I'm going to start out with a neutral transition shade. So this shade called Arouse looks like one of my regular transition shades. Y'all, oh my gosh, so much. I'm getting so much kickback. I only put a little bit on my brush as you can see like look at that small amount and then look at how much kickback is on that shade already I didn't even get the right amount right oh my gosh I don't know what that is about I don't know what that is about at all I don't know anyways got the brush saturated in that shade pack that into our crease it's a perfect rushed Rusty transition, yes. So I'm just gonna pick up all that kickback so because I'm not trying to have anything go to waste and it is picking up and blending out, which is a perfect transition shade. I love it, I love it. I love that we have a couple of different varieties to choose from, not just two matte, you know, transition shades. We got some ones to choose from and then like the marble ones can be used as transition shades as well, which is really cool. I've never seen like a marble shade that wasn't a shimmer. So that's something new. That's something new. That's something innovative. Now we're gonna work that shade into our other eye. All right, so we have created the perfect transition shade. I love this rusty kind of transition shade all the time. Um, doesn't matter if it's a deep look or whatever, this is perfect, love that. Love that for me, love that for us, thank you. I'm definitely going to intensify her up. I wanna go ahead and, and dip into Hard. So Hard is one of those shades that I was telling you about. See, as you see, it's the marble shade, but like, it's not a shimmer. So I'm gonna try to just build that into the crease to deepen it. And it is the perfect chocolate, wow. It is the perfect chocolate brown. And it blends out so smoothly and there's not a lick of shimmer in sight. So that is just awesome. It looks pretty and it's just like a rig, well, it's not a regular shadow. I would say, What? It, how did she describe them as? This is a matte cream marble, which is awesome. And it's just a super chocolatey brown. 
I thought that all marble shades would be shimmery, but this one's not. And as you see, it is buffed out perfectly with the other transition shade. Boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that. And I'm using that same Morphe M433 brush. So I wanna say the matte cream marble really blended out super seamlessly, very, very smoothly. It's such a smooth, interesting formula, which is which is dope. I hope she comes in and uses this with other things because these really just blend out so quick and easily. Why do I have to tell you? All right, so using so using this pointed Sonia Kashuk brush, I just want to play with as many shadows as possible, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and take this and dip into Spicy, which is like the deepest shade in the palette. And I want to draw in my crease so I can know when I cut it that it's going to be deep. So I'm freestyling this look. I'm probably doing things a little bit backwards than you usually see, see me do things, but that's just because I'm playing around and stuff and you know, I get the inspiration as it comes and I just wanna play in as many colors as I can to give you guys like a true review on how the shadows perform. So concentrating this deepest shade into my crease and drawing a horizon or like a rainbow shape. All right, so that is all applied. Now, not picking anything else up, I'm just gonna politely blend out the edges of this because I don't want it too harsh. All right, so I'm gonna take this Bliss Makeup Wipe and just wipe and then start to take off all the shadow on my lid. So I went ahead and took the excess shadows off of my lid. Now I'm gonna be putting down this cut crease canvas. This is by Makeup Revolution. I got the shade Illustrate. I'm gonna shake that up some. You only need a little bit of the stuff. A lot comes out, I know, but you just need a very small amount, especially since we took some of the shadow off already. All right, so before I even apply another color, I'm just gonna go back in with that pencil brush and just to find around where I made my cut crease because it's not perfect and I need it to be like super precise. All right, that looks better. All right, until the next time. I've fallen, I've fallen in love with like a few of the shades already. I used two colors. I'm gonna use Please Me, which is such a beautiful like rose gold freaking bronzy shimmery shade and then this flower power is a dual chrome it's like diamond tan or something it's so it's such a beautiful dual chrome marble shade so i'm gonna use both of them i'm gonna start out by picking up please me and putting that in the middle of my lid it's a really soft shade so it's beautiful, but it's kind of more subtle than what I wanted today. I kind of wanted the boom, pow, the impacted shadows that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to switch that over and put Tantric on my lid. That's pretty. So right here, this is uh, Please Me and then Tantric's more towards coming towards the tear duct and then I'm gonna leave the tear duct space open and we're going to put flower power there. So I'm gonna do the uh, please me and tantric on the other eye. All right, so those are on my lid. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up flower power and put it in my inner tear duct. Y'all, this shade is so pretty.
and then blend it into tantric. Do we like? Yes, we love. Very pretty trio of colors that just shimmer and shine. They're so bomb. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Naughty, actually, which is like a deep, deep chocolate shade. And I'm just gonna work that into the outer part. It's like a really like red, maybe chocolate shade. It's really pretty. Reddish chocolate, let's just make that clear. So pretty. Y'all gotta go out somewhere. Where are we going? Hmm. All right, so with that pencil brush, uh, there's a little bit of the deeper shade on there, so I'm gonna mix that with the shade uh, Arouse and then put that Arouse and Juicy, mix those two and put it underneath my waterline. All right, so those are blended out under my eye. A little bit of fallout from the Naughty shade. Hmm. I like it. So I'm just lightly lining my eyes with the Nars, NARS Black Liner. Like a very thin line. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with this Rare Beauty. This is their Brow Harmony in Deep Brown. All right, next I'm gonna pop on this Volumulus. I don't know how to, I don't know why I can't say the name. It's not that hard. Vol Voluminous, 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 Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my lips with that. All right, y'all, so I'm back and I kind of feel like my background is off center. Please, uh, please excuse that. I have an entirely new setup coming, um, but I ordered it from Etsy, so it's like, it's just taking a little bit longer. Um, but a new background is coming soon, so I'm excited about that. Anyways, so I popped on my Bloodstone Lashes by Hidden Jewel Cosmetics. I love their new lashes, they're so bomb. And I'm gonna go ahead and start putting down this Glamour Bronze by Morphe and like it just started to break unfortunately so I can't show you guys I'm sure you've seen it before but this is like one of my favorites um, oh is there some powder back there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlighter all right you guys so I am back I didn't line my eyes I just put the lashes on because I just wanted the eyes to shine through they are so pretty so next, I want to keep a very like, I don't know, like sultry look. So I'm gonna go for a chocolate lip. This is the Fenty Beauty Unveil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. When you use these, you literally only need one dip into the applicator. All right, so for my tear duct, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up flower power again and I'm gonna put that in my actual tear duct. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up with the Murad 3-in-1 Probiotic Mist. I love this stuff. Alright guys so I am back and I'm all done. So I popped on a little bit of my Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar lip gloss just to give my lip a little bit of dimension. But let's get back to this naughty nude palette and we will touch on a few things and then I will give you my final rating. Okay. Y'all, I really, really like this palette. I really, 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 really like this palette. I love the marble matte shade. That just blew my mind. It is so smooth and it's so pretty. And also the um, the marble shades, how there's like a dual shade. So it is a marble and then you can mix it to how you like it. It's such a cool palette. Honestly, it's so beautiful and vibrant. This so when it comes to the color story, it is awesome. I can see how some people could be offset about the shade Slippery. There was so much controversy over it, seeing that there's little balls in it and it was like a gloss and people were just 
offset and just really confused by it and I just want to let you guys know it is basically just a pink sheer gloss so it would be a gloss topper to put on top of your shadows and I just think that that is actually creative I've never been one to step out and buy a gloss to put on my lid this encourages me to actually use a gloss and to get a little bit more artistic I don't see why everyone was tripping so bad it was kind of like and very very like a fast forward like 2020 type of thing is very innovative and i think it's cool it's a cool little thing to have in your palette honestly that's just my my thought um there was a lot of fallout on that first transition shade that i used and i didn't know why um i picked it all of it up on the excess on the pan but like I don't know how it was pressed, but there was definitely a lot of fallout on that for some reason. I only simply pressed into it very gently, so I don't know what was going on with that, but the rest of the shadows were pressed decently. Now, all in all, I always do my ratings on like on five, one being the worst, five being the best. I would give this palette a 4.5, honestly, because it we got the new shadows, we got the new marbles. There was thought that went into this, thinking outside of the box, trying to bring something creative to the makeup community. And I just thought that it was beautiful. It's a naughty nude. And you honestly can use this palette every day. You can make this an intense palette. You can make this an everyday palette. It is a naughty nude, I guess. Like it's deeper shades and it has some intense names. But honestly, this is going to be something that you'd be able to reach for. And we are in November. So, you know, all these deep looks. I, I always think like, um, intense smoky looks and and shimmers and things like that during the holiday season so this is definitely something that i'm going to reach for for sure so i thought that this was really really cute because the original nude palette it was a little bit too light for me so i never got it so now having the deeper shades that complement people like me i think that it's awesome it is definitely brown girl friendly so two thumbs up huda beauty this is a bomb palette you guys you can get this you can get this at hudabeauty.com or of course you can get this online or in store at sephora right now it's on display you guys i don't know if you can swatch or whatever i think my sephora is kind of like leaning towards into the swatches and stuff but i don't know about everybody else because covid cases are high or they're different in every city so i don't know but i do know that you could pick it up okay it's so pretty and more importantly, you're honestly going to be able to use this. So I reviewed this palette because you guys wanted me to. So. so let me know if you like the look. Let me know your thoughts, your feedback, if you like the palette or any type of looks that you'd like for me to recreate. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my review and this tutorial. I will see you guys here very soon in my next video. Bye.